Hey there, this is Paul with MemberPress. In today's video, we're going to cover how to set up and configure PayPal Standard for use with your membership website. Now, once you've installed MemberPress and activated it and added some memberships, you'll likely want to add a way for your customers to pay you. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to MemberPress Settings, and you'll click here on the Payments tab. And you can see I've already added an offline payment method so that my customers can pay me by check. But that's not very convenient for them or for me. So I want to add PayPal so that my customers have a more automatic way to pay me. And I don't have to do all the uh, behind the scenes administrative work to manage their checks. So I clicked the plus to add a new payment method. And now we're going to choose PayPal standard as the payment method. And the name I'm going to give it is called Pay with PayPal. Now this name is the name your customers will see when they go to check out on your website. So for example, my customers would now have the option to pay by check or they could select to pay with PayPal. So you'll copy in your primary PayPal email address. And this is the email that you use to log in to your PayPal.com account. And I'm going to go ahead and enable advanced mode. And if your PayPal account was created after 2009, which most of you are, you will want to enable this API username, API password, and signature fields. Uh, the reason you'll want to do this is without advanced mode enabled, you will not be able to refund or cancel your member subscriptions uh, from within MemberPress. You would have to log into PayPal and do it from there. So. Uh, I definitely recommend enabling advanced mode if you have a PayPal account that was created after 2009. And we've heard more recently that PayPal may have done some upgrades on the old legacy accounts that were created before 2009. And so uh, you may actually be able to use this even if you have an older account. I would say give it a try and see if it works. Um, so we need to get our API username, our API password, and the API signature from our PayPal account so that we can copy and paste them here into the member press settings. So I'm gonna log into my PayPal account and I'm gonna click on my profile over here on the right and I'm gonna choose account settings. And you'll see here this very first tab under account and security. Whoop, that didn't work very well. Let's try that again, account and security. You'll want to choose this first tab under here called Account Access. Once you're there, you will click on this API Access option and choose the Update link. This will take you to a page with a lot of confusing information, but don't fret. What you need to look for is this NVP slash SOAP API integration, and it will say Classic here next to it. And you'll just click on Manage API Credentials. Okay, and once this page loads, you'll just click show on each of these to show that information. So I'm gonna copy the, use, the API username first, and I'm gonna paste that in MemberPress, and I'm gonna copy the password next, and I'll paste that into MemberPress. And lastly, I wanna copy the signature and we'll go ahead and paste that into MemberPress. And that's it as far as enabling advanced mode. Now on to the more important steps that quite often get missed. Now, if these get missed, you're gonna end up uh, missing out on uh, capturing, pit, uh, excuse me, completed and failed payments uh, from PayPal. Now, the reason that happens is this IPN URL is basically kind of a, an endpoint that MemberPress has, and it, you copy it into PayPal, and PayPal then sends information to that endpoint. So it says, hey, Bob's subscription just renewed, record a transaction for that. Or, hey, Sally's payment just failed, make sure you record that. So without this IPN URL set up, PayPal is not able to communicate back to MemberPress uh, the status of your customer's subscriptions. So it's very important not to miss this step. So we're going to copy this IPN URL. We're going to go back to our PayPal account. 
And we're going to choose account settings here again from the menu. And this time we're going to scroll down to the website payments tab here. And once here, you're looking for the IPN settings or instant payment notifications. And select update. Now, once you get to this page, if you've never used IPN, uh, your page will look a little bit different here. And it will say choose IPN settings. But where I have played with this before, you can see it says sample.com here. You're going to go ahead and click edit settings. And I'm going to paste in the, excuse me, paste in the URL from MemberPress. And I'm going to check this radio box here that says receive IPN messages enabled. You definitely want to make sure this is enabled and we'll click save. Now PayPal is able to communicate to MemberPress through this URL. Whoop, oh, keeps jumping around on me. Through this URL here and it will let MemberPress know if a payment fails or if a payment is completed or even if a customer cancels their subscription uh, through PayPal instead of through your website, um, this notification URL can be used by PayPal to update that information on the member press side. So we're all good there on the IPN. And the last thing we want to do is set up our website preferences settings. And one of those includes this return URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the return URL now. And I'm going to go back to account settings. And once again, we're going to go back to website payments. But this time we're going to update our website preferences. So go ahead and click update. And we want to make sure that our auto return gets set to on. So I'm going to select on here. And I'm going to paste in that return URL that we just copied. Now you can know if you have the return URL when it says return here at the end. If you accidentally copy the IPN URL in here, then it could prevent your users from getting uh, returned back to your website correctly uh, after they complete their purchase on PayPal. So be sure it says return here. And of course, the IPN one we set up earlier, you'd want to make sure that it says IPN at the end of that one. But uh, it looks like we've set this up correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. You can see it refreshes us back to the top of the page here. And there was a brief message there that said Save. Now we're going to come down here. We do want to turn on payment data transfer. So we'll turn that on. And we want to make sure encrypted website payments is set to off. So go ahead and check off. Mine's already off, but if yours is on, go ahead and turn it off. And then PayPal account optional. I prefer leaving this on, but you can turn it on or off depending on um, what you would like to do. If this is on, what it means is your customers do not need to have a PayPal account in order to check out. Now, this is not available for recurring subscriptions, as it mentions right here. So if you're doing one-time payments uh, or non-recurring payments, then I would definitely recommend leaving this on. That way, your customers can sign up for your product without actually having to have a PayPal account. Now, if you want to require them to have a PayPal account, then sure, go ahead and leave this off. And again, this does not work for recurring subscriptions, only uh, one-time uh, payments. And the rest of these settings you can ignore or, you know, set them. These are more, uh, well, what I'm trying to say is these last two settings here really don't apply to member press. So go ahead and set them however you need them set, um, but they are not important for member press. So that's it. We've completely configured PayPal to work with our member press website now. The last thing we need to do to make sure that this works is come back to member press and click save here. If we forget to click save, then as soon as we go away from this page, our, all of this gateway information that we just set up would be lost. So definitely be sure to click update options here. And that's it. Now we have our PayPal payment gateway configured. And if we look at our memberships, let's go ahead and view one of these in an incognito window. And the reason I'm doing incognito window is it allows me to... Uh, see the website as if I were a guest uh, because I'm not logged in. So if we scroll down here, we can see we now have the option to pay by check or we can pay with PayPal. 
Now, what if we want PayPal to be the first option? So right now it's defaulting to paying by check, but I want it to default to pay by PayPal. Let's go take a quick look on how we can do that. So I'm gonna edit my membership. And if you had more than one membership, you'd have to do this for each one. But for the purposes of keeping this video short, we'll show how to do it uh, just on one membership. So you'll wanna check the box here for customized payment methods. And this time I'm gonna enable PayPal first and then I'll enable pay by check. And that will reorder these. And if you don't have them in the right order, you can also click and drag them around here as well. But I wanna make sure that PayPal is listed on top here because I want it to be the default payment method. Okay, now let's open this in an incognito window again. And this time we should see that it defaults to PayPal as the selected payment method. And now we have the option to pay by check instead. But uh, that's it. PayPal is set up. And as long as you've got your IPN and those website preferences that we covered there at the end set up correctly, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, one thing we do see from time to time is that a firewall or a security plugin may get in the way and block those IPNs from getting through. Uh, or, you know, more commonly, uh, customers will just simply forget to set up the IPN. So if you're having some problems with payments not tracking correctly, uh, I would certainly double and triple check that your IPN is set up. And then I would check to see if you have any security plugins. Maybe try disabling those and see if you have any better results. Uh, I certainly recommend uh, running through a few tests, even if you have to bug your buddies, you know, get them a, get them a coupon that makes your membership uh, a dollar instead of, you know, $10 or $100 or whatever it is. But try to get some buddies to, to sign up for your membership with their PayPal account and uh, just make sure everything goes through smoothly and is working properly. So that's it. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to our support team and we will be happy to help.